It's the 10th National Council meeting on lands, housing and urban development. And the major discussion here is how to reduce the housing deficit in Lagos State. The federal as well as the state governments have come together to brainstorm on how to improve the sector for economic revitalization, a plan both parties believe can only be achieved when there's synergy. The highest policy advisory body in the housing sector is an annual event and a platform where stakeholders deliberate on issues and profess solutions and recommendations that will facilitate the repositioning of the sector to achieve its role as a catalyst for job creation, social inclusion, and economic development. The huge investment in the housing sector is evident in Lagos State, and the government says it's ready to do more to boost the economy and create jobs for the people. Housing development as catalyst for job creation, social inclusion, and economic development. As the highest policy advisory body on lands, housing, and over the new world, our onerous task is to brainstorm on how the economy can be quickly revitalized through accelerated and inclusive housing development. Town planners at this meeting raise concerns about limited land space. Our land resources are not increasing. They are fixed. But our population is increasing. And as the population is increasing, there's also demand for that land. There's demand for agriculture. There's demand for housing. But when governments refuse to invest in preparation of plans and implementation of those plans, then we're unlikely to make a headway. Alternative energy supply for new buildings is another major talking point. Can we design our buildings in a way that they consume less energy and we save more money in terms of electricity bills? We also need to get carbon emission and we have a healthier living environment. Now that the federal and Lagos state governments have announced joint plans for the housing sector, they're also asking for all hands to be on deck to achieve the desired results for the benefit of the people.